football in the Big Ten can mean playing in some extreme conditions. So to analyze what it takes to perform in the elements, we brought in Penn State running back Saquon Barkley. After establishing baseline times for the test, he was ready for some weather. First up, heat generated by fans blasting 170 degree temperatures. Under heat stress, the body increases blood flow to the skin. While this cools you down, it can decrease the oxygen supply to skeletal muscles and hamper performance. But after baking for 10 minutes, Barkley loses less than half a step. In fact, he actually finishes our game changer test faster than Ezekiel Elliott under normal conditions. Next up, rain. Well, not rain, but a dose of dihydrogen monoxide. A slick layer of water sharply reduces the coefficient of friction between Barkley's arm and the ball. But using five points of contact, he hangs on while bulldozing through heavy bags about as quickly is Derrick Henry, and he avoids slipping by taking choppy strides that are about 50% shorter than the strides he took in normal conditions. And finally, cold. Barkley spends 10 minutes inside an ice truck where temps drop to a bitter 20 degrees. A little cold in here, a little cold. When the body gets cold, joints stiffen as a friction-reducing agent called synovial fluid becomes increasingly viscous. But even chilled to the bone, Barkley can still finish a six Superman leap over a hurdle that's about the height of a freeway concrete divider. Overall, these extreme conditions had minimal effects on Barkley's performance. In fact, compared to his baseline in normal conditions, when challenged by the elements, his time slowed by no more than half a second. So how'd that feel? Wet. Wet. Pretty wet, pretty wet, yeah. But it was awesome, uh, especially going from cold heat uh, to wet. It was fun, I enjoyed it a lot.